Hi, we're going to do a Unit M review of um, DC circuits. So this will be video one. I got a lot of colored pens today. All right, so let's uh, let's first just do some units. Um, can you match what unit goes with um, what quantity, voltage, capacitance, current, power, and resistivity? Can you match these units? Can you see those units? See if you can match those. You might pause and, and see if you can match those. Okay, so voltage is joules per coulomb. Capacitance is going to be coulombs per volt. Current is coulombs per second. Power is joules per second. And resistivity is how much electric field you need per given current density. So that's electric field per current density. So yeah, those are two more. Electric field, current density. All right, next one. Um, so you have this circuit here. You got 12 volts. And um, first of all, could you just tell me what the, this is 12 ohms and 6 ohms and 2 ohms. Um, can you tell me uh, which is going to get, of these resistors, which is going to get the most resistance and which, excuse me, most current and which is going to get the least current? So tell me which is going to get the most current and which is going to get the least current. Okay, so um, this gets the most current because the current comes along here. It splits up and then it recombines. So this is getting the all the current. Um, the one that will get the least is the, the 12 ohm because it's got the most resistance right here. And so you're going to get twice as much current going this way as this way. Okay, can you figure out what the equivalent resistance of the circuit is then? And then once you do, find out what the current is in here. So um, go, ahead and, go ahead and do that and pause. All right, so here we go. Um, this is, this is going to be when we do 1 12th plus um, 1 6th to get the equivalent of just that parallel. So 1 12th plus 1 6th is equal to 1 over our equivalent just of, of these two. And so that would be like 2 12ths. So when you, that's 3 12ths. When you flip it over, our equivalent is 4. That's a combo that they love to use. Um, 12 and 6 gives you 4, or 6 and 3 gives you 2. They just like that combination. Okay, now that's in, that's in series with that one, so that gives you 6 ohms of total resistance. And so the total current in here is going to be 2 amps, because um, 12 volts divided by the total resistance of 6 ohms gives you 2 amps. And so this is going to, this will get a third of it. So two thirds of an amp go this way and four thirds will go this way. All right. Next one. Okay, so we have these two, these two um, circuits. Uh, which one is going to use up the battery faster? Which one is going to use more power? Which circuit's going to actually use more power? The left one or the right one? Okay, so the one that's going to use more power is uh, power through a battery is, is IE. Well, E is 18 volts, so that's going to stay put. But the I, whichever one's going to have the biggest I. And so it's the one that has the least amount of resistance. And so this is offering the least amount of resistance. Do you know how many volts there are across this guy right here? That's right, there are 18. And across this guy, there are 18. Whereas across these, these aren't 18. They're going to add up. So what do these have in common? Volts, when they're in parallel. What do resistors in series have in common? That's right, current. The same current that goes through there will go through here, will go through there. Those are all the same current. And that's because of the junction rule. There's no place for it to, ju to jump off and go somewhere else. 
Okay, next one. Um, I have a circuit here. Um, this is an EMF E. And all these light bulbs are identical. And I'm going to add one more light bulb. I'm going to add one more light bulb here. When I do that, what will that do to these two bulbs? When I add the one more light bulb, what will it do to those two bulbs? Okay, hopefully you've thought about it. I'm hoping that you're pressing pause when I ask a question to consider it. Okay, so what it will do is absolutely nothing to those two bulbs. When you add this in here, then what happens is this, this bulb um, still has a voltage of E across it, and so does this one. So nothing happens. The, the only thing that changes in this circuit, it, you still have E over R for this guy and E over R for that guy. But what will change is there'll be one more E over R for this guy. And so the total current will go up. And so you'll draw more current through the battery and they'll, you'll, you'll use more power. As you might guess, you can't just keep on adding light bulbs without using more power. All right, let me get my um, orange marker. I want to see how this shows up. So you have, um, how does that show up? Not too well, huh? That's bulb A, bulb B, bulb C, and bulb D. Can you put these in terms of um, brightness? Which one's going to be the brightest and then which will be the, the least bright? Okay, go ahead and put these in terms of brightness. Okay, so... Um, a is going to be the brightest, so I'm going from brightest to least bright. So A will be the brightest. It's got the most current through it. See, the, all the current goes through A, and then it splits up. Now, these bulbs are identical, so this, this path is given twice the resistance of this one. So B will get the next most current, and so B will be the next brightest. And C and D will be even. They'll be, have the same amount of brightness. Okay, next question. If I unscrew C, if I unscrew C, can you tell me what the brightness is will be then if I unscrew C from the circuit, from its socket? All right, we're back. Okay, when I unscrew C, that pretty much breaks off this current. It's, that, that breaks, it, breaks that, that, um, that path out. So C and D are both out. These guys are out. B, on the other hand, will now get all the same current as A. So A and B are the same brightness. And C and D, they're out. Moving right along here. Uh, these are getting tougher. Okay, so here goes. So we have a current, uh, it's, it changes with time. It's 5 amps per second squared times T squared. And they want to know how much charge will pass um, by in the first two seconds. So it shouldn't say in two seconds. They should say from zero to two seconds. So how much charge passes from zero to two seconds? Not, so you really have to say which two seconds you're talking about. So let's talk about the first two seconds. Okay. So um, go ahead and try that. Pause and try it. Okay, well, um, I is DQ, DT. I think I'm going to use black. I may not finish this in this one. I may have to finish it in, in the next one. But I is um, DQ, DT. So if I bring the DT on the other side, then Q, DQ is I, DT. And so... Um, what you can do with that is you can integrate both sides to get Q. So Q will equal the integral of I, 5 amps per second squared T squared dt from 0 to 2 seconds. I'm out of time. I'll finish this in the next, in the next video. All right. We'll see you there. Bye.